to buy or not to buy video after a few months like I feel like I haven't done one of these in really really long this is one of my favorite segments where I review random products that I buy randomly off the internet and everywhere so enjoy okay so the first product is really random and really unique it is sari shapewear so this is by Zivami. Now I didn't know of these things like it popped up on Nykaa while I was buying some beauty stuff like you know on the side where they tempt you to buy new things. This is what popped up and I was just like what is that and I just thought it's a like a spandex petticoat but when I tried it I realized it's actually shapewear like kind of like spanks for saris and I tried it and I tested the shit out of this thing guys. I done things that I wouldn't normally do wearing a sari with squats and like jumping around like a maniac with no pins and I like draped a very kacha sari obviously it wasn't like perfect and I use a heavy sari for this to see how it feels and this thing took it like it did not slip off it has like this butt shape a bit which I think is really nice it gives your butt like that perfect shape and um, it's really snug so it's um, not loose at all like your normal petticoat so you don't get you get a really like an hourglass figure kind of feel when you wear your sari and like here on the hip area it feels really smooth and nice unlike the normal bunching on the waist there's no bunching because it's like this elastic so it's a lot smoother and yeah I just generally think it's really really good like if you're someone who wears a lot of saris also I've ordered a nude one which I think could work under a lot of saris nude black like you could get a few basic ones like that that could work like across your saris this was priced at $12.95 and I think it was on discount down to about $900 which I think was really good for something like this now a lot of people are going to be like oh my god a petticoat for 900 rupees but the thing is guys I actually stitched a normal blue petticoat in the mermaid shape thing in a cotton format which is not flattering at all and that was about 600 rupees and I know because I did it for the same sari like two months ago so I mean this is 900 that is 600 I would probably definitely get this like for every sari that I own so if you're looking for like something to give you a better fit when you wear a sari and you wear a lot of saris definitely 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 to buy this is not what I bought this for <laughs> but uh, this is an ice pack guys this is by this company called Munich I bought this off Amazon um, I actually got it when I dislocated my shoulder last month because I had to ice my shoulder and one thing I hate about icing is like all that wet fit that you get when you ice like you know when you put the stuff and you just like it just doesn't work and you're like drenched I do not like that um, I got this as an ice bag to use after that I realized the other thing with this is that it is not um, waterproof like you do have like bits of the ice leaking out uh, you can't really see it right now because I just filled it but if you keep it on you for like you know 20 minutes 30 minutes it starts melting and it does get wet and um, you can already see that it's slightly patchy and wet which is what I don't like about this like it wasn't expensive of course it was only 191 rupees but I just feel like I bought it because I didn't like the wet feeling of ice and I wanted like a you know a dry ice pack you know what I mean like I don't know how to explain that but that's what I was looking for and this is not that so I'm gonna say not to buy and also if you guys know of any better ice packs please let me know because in the comments because I really want to get one and this is not great up next we have the Cos RX Acne Pimple Master Patch Oh, wow I can't believe I said that in one go um, now I have had these for a while I've, I've not been having a lot of acne and I hadn't really tried it but I tried it when I had a pimple so I had like a pimple like a spot right here which I tried it on and it wasn't a very massive pimple but it was one of those white you know fussy pimples if you open it they have these little strips of uh, these acne patches like this and you just take a patch and you apply it right onto the pimple which is what I did and then you leave it there till it gets white so you can apply your makeup over it or like leave it there for hours like the whole day I think I left it for about 6-7 hours and it kind of became white and then I took it off and the pimple had pretty much vanished like the white portion the whole fussy portion had vanished 
and it was a lot flatter than it was when it started. This is priced at about 400 rupees on Amazon and you get quite a few patches in it. I think there's 24 patches, so that's how much per patch? I do not know, we will put it here. Uh, but yeah, I think it's cost effective and I think it's really, really good. So if you're struggling with acne or if you're not, even if you're just like me where you get the stray occasional pimple, I think you should definitely keep this in the house. To buy! Up next, we have shoe shampoo. I did not know there was a thing called shoe shampoo, but there is. This is called Pro Clean Cleaning Shampoo and it's for your shoes. It's meant to clean your sneakers and all kinds of shoes actually. Uh, I bought this from Big Bazaar, so I don't really know if it's available online. I will try and link it, but I'm not really happy with it. Like the thing is, I didn't feel like it cleaned the shoes that I used. You're supposed to take it and just put like this foamy bit onto like a cloth and just clean them. And I tried it with two, three sneakers and honestly, like the I kept one pair dirty and I was cleaning one pair and you can't really tell the difference after that. And I'm someone who cleans my sneakers a lot, like I usually wash them with soap and water and things like that. So I thought this would work better than that, but sadly it has not worked. Also it's priced at 350 rupees and it doesn't really get the job done. So I'm gonna say not to buy it. Okay, now coming to my favorite product. Ding, ding, ding. So this, this my friends, is something you will love. Okay, so this is my newest obsession from Amazon. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So that's how it works. It's a really, really tiny, uh, I mean, they write cappuccino maker on the uh, thing, but that's not what it is. It's basically uh, a milk frother. So like when you put it into your cup, your coffee cup, after making your coffee and you froth it, you'll get like that whole cappuccino feel, like feel like you've got all the froth. So you can do this with hot chocolate, you can do this with coffee, you can do it to like beat your eggs, you can do it to whipped cream. And it's just a really handy thing to have around the kitchen. It like runs on batteries. And when I ordered it, I didn't think I would be so impressed by it. But guys, I've become a coffee drinker occasionally because of this. This is priced at 256 rupees uh, on Amazon. And I thought for the price, it's a steal. Also, it was orange, which is why I got it. And I'm so, so happy with it. Definitely, definitely to buy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found the reviews helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also comment below with other products or services that you guys want me to review for the next to buy or not to buy video. See you guys. Bye.